Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today I'm going to review some of the products from the brand Sugandha. I have heard a lot of YouTubers talk about this brand and how much they have loved this brand. So I was very much interested in trying out these products and today I'm going to give you my honest reviews about these products that I'm going to talk about. I've purchased three products from this brand and I'm going to review each one of them in detail. So first let's get started with the Sugandha Rose Hip Moisturizer. This Rose Hip Moisturizer retails for Rs 1000 and you get 50ml of the product in this. And it has got Rose Hip Oil, Green Tea, Curcumin, 3% Niacinamide, Hyaluronic Acid and Panthenol. On the website of Sugandha Skincare, it is mentioned that it is suitable for combination to dry skin people. I have personally got combination to oily skin and it works perfectly well for my skin and it works very well in moisturizing my skin and giving me a very hydrated and moisturized look and feel on my skin. It mentions that you have to apply one to two pumps of this moisturizer on semi dry skin. What I like to do is that I like to cleanse my face and after that I apply toner and then go ahead with this rose hip moisturizer. This moisturizer works very well in hydrating my skin and it does not feel oily or greasy and it gets absorbed into my skin quickly and I love how my skin feels very soft and smooth when I apply this moisturizer. I am in love with this moisturizer. Let's talk about some of the ingredients that are present inside this rose hip moisturizer. The first ingredient that is present inside this moisturizer is rose hip oil. Now rose hip oil is something which is rich in essential fatty acids and trans retinoic acid. It also contains vitamin B3 which enhances your skin's barrier. It also contains glycerine and hyaluronic acid which we all know helps in moisturizing your skin perfectly. The panthenol and the alanine that is present inside this moisturizer they help in soothing down your skin and green tea and curcumin as we all know are excellent natural antioxidants so this rose hip moisturizer is enriched with all the goodness of hyaluronic acid the green tea the curcumin the rose hip oil so all in all this rose hip moisturizer is full of natural ingredients and ingredients which give you very good effective results on your skin and i love using this moisturizer two times a day once in the morning and once in the night time and this moisturizer has not broken me out it feels absolutely lightweight and i really love the fact that it is so lightweight that it gets absorbed into my skin quickly and it makes my skin look soft and supple and hydrated and i think this is a perfect perfect moisturizer if you have combination to oily skin if you want your skin to look hydrated and fresh and soft and smooth then this is the moisturizer to go for and i highly highly recommend this moisturizer to all of you it is a must-have product in my opinion i do feel that it is slightly on the costly side 1000 for 50 ml but a little product of this goes a long way and this tiny bottle is going to last for a pretty long time i highly recommend this Sugandha Rose Hip Moisturizer to everyone out there. The next product that I'm going to talk about is the Sugandha Pure Squalene Face Oil and it retails for rupees 450 and you get 10 ml of the product in this. It mentions that it is 100% pure olive squalene which means that the squalene has been extracted from olives so it is a plant derived face oil. You're supposed to use this twice a day on semi damp skin or add two drops to moisturize and apply. It is always recommended to go for a patch test before you apply any new skincare products on your skin. So I would suggest that you go ahead and first do a patch test before you actually start applying these products but since these are organic products they won't have any harmful effects but still a patch test is highly suggested. Now what I like to do is that I mix 2-3 to three drops of this squalene in my rose hip moisturizer and then I apply it all over my face and what I love about these squalene is that it moisturizes my skin perfectly and it also imparts a healthy glow on my skin. I love the combination of this squalene with my moisturizer and together they are given a very youthful and plump looking skin. So first let's understand what is squalene and what is squalene. Squalene with an E 
is a lipid that is produced naturally by your own skin cells and the amount of squalene that your body produces it declines with your age the peak production of this squalene or the natural moisturizer occurs during your teenage and this production naturally it starts declining as you grow up to your 20s or your 30s as a result of which your skin becomes drier and rougher with age and this squalene moisturizer is naturally present in olives in rice bran in sugarcane and the squalene which is present in this face oil has been extracted from olives squalene which is highly unstable before it can be used in your skincare products it has to be hydrogenated so that it can be converted into squalene with an a inside and Squalene is something which is a more stable form of the molecule. What the benefits of squalene are that it actually enhances the hydration of your skin and in result your skin looks more healthier and vibrant. And the antioxidants that are present in this oils can also fight against the free radical and the skin damage which can both accelerate the aging process of our skin. Squalene is a safe face oil that can be used for all skin types. Squalene oil, it does penetrate your pores and it improves your skin at the cellular level but this face oil does not feel heavy on the skin at all. It is quite lightweight and it does feel very moisturizing on the skin. This squalene oil has also got emollient properties which means that it keeps your skin hydrated and moisturized perfectly. The squalene is a great moisturizer as it gets easily absorbed into your skin and it also prevents the loss or water from your skin if you're using hyaluronic acid with the squalene oil then be sure to first apply the hyaluronic acid on your skin and then follow it up with the squalene so that the moisture gets sealed in inside your skin hyaluronic acid is very useful for our skin it moisturizes your skin but it cannot hold moisture for a long term unlike hyaluronic acid the squalene not only pulls the moisture from the air but it also traps it onto your skin so that your skin can absorb the moisture for a pretty long time this squalene oil is non-comedogenic and it does not clog your pores it feels it's very lightweight and moisturizing this squalene oil can be used in your daytime or in your nighttime i personally use it during the daytime i don't use this during my nighttime but it can be used during the daytime or during the nighttime now this pure squalene can also be applied to your hair to increase the heat protection and it also adds shine and it reduces the breakage potential of the hair and this squalene is mostly suitable for combination to dry skin and i highly highly recommend this squalene to all of you if you want a healthy and a glowy look on your skin i recommend to mix a few drops of this squalene in your moisturizer and apply it all over your face and so far i'm really happy with this product and i highly recommend this product from suganda and the last product that i'm going to talk about is the suganda aha serum and it retails for rupees 699 for 20 ml of the product it contains 10 percent lactic acid go to cola and green tea you're supposed to apply a few drops of this aha serum onto your face and then you have to wait for 10 minutes and after that you have to follow it up with a moisturizer and if you're new to aha serums then i would recommend that you mix a few drops of this serum into your moisturizer and then apply it directly on your face and if you are new to aha serums then i would recommend you to apply this aha serum on alternate day basis don't apply it every day just see how your skin reacts to this aha serum so start slow and first apply the moisturizer then go ahead and apply a few drops of this aha serum on your face and now this contains 10 percent lactic acid now lactic acid is something which exfoliates your skin it hydrates your skin and it rejuvenates your skin lactic acid also helps in lightening your dark spots regular exfoliation will also help your skin be looking more youthful and it cleans up your pores and therefore you get less acne on your face and green tea is an excellent antioxidant which helps in protecting your skin against the sun damage and green tea also helps in reducing the acne of your skin this also contains go to cola now go to cola or most popularly known as centella asiatica it also helps in producing your collagen and it reduces your scarring and stretch marks and it in also increases the antioxidant levels in your newly formed tissues now let me tell you what are ahas and bhas 
AHA is actually alpha hydroxy acid and BHA is beta hydroxy acids and and both these hydroxy acids can be found in cleansers, toners, scrubs, moisturizers, beads and masks and the purpose of both AHA and BHA is to exfoliate your skin and both the AHAs and BHAs are excellent methods of deep exfoliation these are called chemical exfoliators and both the AHAs and BHAs they reduce the skin inflammation they clear out your pores and they reduce the wrinkles on your skin now AHAs are water soluble acids and they gently peel away the outer surface of your skin so that more evenly pigmented skin cells may generate after using this AHA serum you'll feel that your skin has become more smooth to the touch there are many types of AHAs like glycolic acid which is the most commonly known AHA then we also have lactic acid we also have citric acid malic acid mandalic acid and most of the AHAs they are extracted from the fruits but lactic acid is extracted from the lactose in milk and lactic acid is also known for its exfoliating and hydrating properties on the skin lactic acid is known to provide anti-aging benefits to your skin the AHA concentration in your skincare product should not exceed 10 to 15 percent when you start with AHA serums you should start with the minimum concentration so that your skin gets adjusted to it first and then you can slightly increase the concentration of AHAs in your serums and whenever you're starting new with AHA products then start applying it on alternate days don't apply it every day because your skin needs to adapt to the new AHAs and first you should see how your skin reacts to the AHA serum and then you can go ahead and apply it on an everyday basis this AHA serum is quite mild so what i like to do is i like to apply it on alternate day basis i don't apply it every day and so far this has given me really smooth looking skin and my skin feels soft to touch and i love the effects of this aha serum and whenever you're using an aha serum be sure to apply a broad spectrum sunscreen every day in the morning this is a very effective product for my skin with regular use of the sugandha aha serum i have noticed that my skin feels very soft and smooth and it has improved the evenness of my skin i feel that my skin has become more even toned and this has reduced the hyperpigmentation of my skin and i have seen a slight reduction in the dark spots and the pigmentation of my skin so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed watching this video i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye